Hello, Leo, sun and moon rising. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you clicked on the title when it intrigued you. Let's start with the fairy oracle plus card. We have the journeyman and the master maker. This journeyman is this journey that you're on is the same journey that uh, light workers, spirit workers, Buddhists have all been on. They've all been on this journey that you're on now. This doesn't necessarily mean because it off it looks like the fool car where you're taking a leap of faith. But this is more about the journey you've already been on and you're just taking that next step, that expansive step. The master maker has a lot of hard work ahead of him, but he does it with joy, gratitude, a merry heart. So that he hits his mark and you will hit your mark. This is about your expansion, this journey that you're on. With the Shaman Oracle, which is your spirit guides, guardians, and ancestors, we have the staff. So your polarities are balancing on this journey. We have the serpent, where you've just broken out of an old skin and now toughening up the new skin for this next leg of your journey. The lower world is all about your ancestors, all their pains, all their conflicts, all their struggles um, becoming your blessings so you're being richly blessed by your ancestors the drum this is your journey this is your dance your unique self on this path creating a whole new structure because you've come out of the fire you've burned ancestral karmic energies you've literally leo changed the past and influenced the present and the future so this is going to be a powerful reading your crowning energy for the tarot portion of your reading is the ten of air this is completion end of delays there was an ending it was a painful one <clears throat> that was part of your journey something that was necessary for you to begin on this next leg of the journey, which is a new journey. It's the same journey that you've always been on, Leo. But the cards are saying that this next portion of your journey is you were very much prepared all your life for what you're about to enter. Bottom of the deck, we have the magician. So, yeah, you've got all the tools. You're manifesting this. You're the master maker. And doing it with a light heart, a joyful heart, a heart of gratitude. It's like you're looking at this journey that you're on and saying, yes, ascended master. Yes, my guru. I'm ready for the next leg. And even as you step off of his head and his guidance, you're perfectly balanced. And this is about polarities. The staff is about polarity, the balance, the guidance. This new leg of your journey, the blessings from your ancestors, because you broke ancestral karma. You're dancing a whole new dance that's unique. And, and I get that feeling of thundering. Thundering because you burnt off and changed the past changed it just literally changed it seven of earth you are working on something you invested in either a relationship or a job but you've been working on this for a long time with great patience uh, possibly to the point of exhaustion and wondering do i continue with this does this next leg of the journey does it include what I've already nurtured? And judging from the journeyman, this is a path you've been on for a while. So my first hunch is to say yes. 
this harvest that you've cultivated from the past is going to come to fruition. In fact, I don't get the feeling that you need to plant any more seeds. Just look after your garden. You're walking away from the things that were uh, not necessary in your life. Some things that had to be let go of in order to take this next step forward. Not necessarily people or a person, but energies. Something that you invested too much time and energy in that was not coming to fruition. So now it is, well, whatever way this resonates for you, Leo, is it this energy? Is it the same as this one? Is this what you're considering walking away from? What you've invested in time and energy, will it come to fruition? Is it time to walk away? Is this two different things? You're, whether or not you're walking away or ready, Spirit is giving you a blessing here. A blessing of a brand new beginning that brings stability, security, money, balance. I love that word stability. I love that word security. So in the tarot deck, the fool is about taking a leap of faith. In the journeyman, this says that you've been on this journey for some time. But that you're taking a leap of faith in the next phase of this journey. Spiritual healing. I think this has to do with the drum. Having that dance around the fire. That full moon energy that releases all this old karmic debt. You've been paying it for some time, Leo. It's now time to release it. This next full moon on the 13th. You would do well to write down on pieces of paper, paper all the things that you are grateful for that you got through. All the things that you survived. Write them down with gratitude and burn them up one by one. Release those energies. Powerful magic. You have to make a decision about something. So this decision could be about do what you are going to walk away from. Are you patient with this and walk away from this? Uh, do you stay... If, if this is one person, do you wait or do you go? Which direction is that leap of faith going to be? There are things that haven't been revealed to you yet, that, but they are going to be revealed to you through the moon. The moon energy reveals things that have been hidden. The illumination of that full moon. I think this full moon is going to be a powerful one for you, Leo. And one you should take stock in and uh, take advantage of. 18 bears down into 9. This is about wishes. Manifestation. You may be having some very clear communication with someone that doesn't involve emotion. It could be someone you love very dearly, but you have to discuss certain, you know, technical matters. How are we going to deal with these bills? Or how are we going to deal with that situation and... Um, this is if this is a partner it's someone you trust to give good sound advice this could also be a professional person a doctor a lawyer a judge someone that gives you you know clinical advice or professional advice non-emotional but as I said if this is a partner they wear a mask when you're talking there's clarity good advice uh this mask is the hidden part of themselves which is their emotional side look what the moon is revealing the moon is revealing that this person has emotions so you could be dealing with an air sign not necessarily and that would be aquarius but not necessarily taking on those energies though Eight of air is about feeling stuck, um, blindfolding yourself from seeing something. So maybe this is what the moon is going to illuminate on this next full moon through this next week, 10 days, or whenever it is that you are listening to this video. Feeling stuck. Maybe it's because of this decision. But look, we've got two aces now, a clean slate, 
letting go of the past, the baggage. That's the burning off of those energies. And that will unstick you. And look, you could be dealing with a water sign, uh, specifically Pisces, but not necessarily. These are the energies. Someone sees you as absolutely, you're a treasure. They see you as a treasure. You see them as a treasure, even though they're a teeny weeny seahorse. Or this could be vice versa. This could be an offer of love coming in, an offer of encouragement, inspiration, support, and genuine love. Let's get out the clarifying deck before we go to the extended. And in the extended, um, you can ask if this clear if this resonates for you. You can ask me to pull you a card in the extended reading, and I'll help personalize that more for you but let's have a look at what the reading is saying this is about you holding back or someone is holding back perhaps you're feeling someone is maybe ignoring you not sharing as much as they used to about their feelings it could be this king of air who is being unemotional but they're still attached they're just hiding their emotions or this could be you holding back this can be the miserly card about being a miser, holding back, holding on, holding on to maybe negative energies that need to be released. Or you're just saving your money. The card that flew out on a pre-shuffle was the moon again. This is Pisces. It has shown up three times here for whatever that means. Not necessarily that you're dealing with a Pisces, but these are the energies. This person is feeling these emotions, even if they're not showing it. Things that are going to be illuminated. Things that will be revealed. Look at that lobster crawling out of the water. Guess I bet you didn't know they were there. This is clarifying this ending. The end of delays. When that moon shines and illuminates what is hidden, it's going to illuminate your new beginning. This gift from spirit. This clean slate without the baggage. Releasing. You can release a lot on this next full moon. If you're listening to this reading a month from now, you can release on a full moon. Strong magic. Strength. So you need strength with this patience. You've shown strength. Courage. Bravery. Walking your talk. This is the card of Leo. Taming the beast within. Keeping your ego in check. Deciding that you're going to wait it out for the long haul. What is it you're walking away from, Leo? What? So this tells me that you're in separation with the love of your life, either willingly or it, it couldn't be helped. You live in different places that are a distance from each other. Uh, you had to move. One of you had to move. But this could mean a long distance relationship that's tough. It takes a lot of courage. Ace of Earth, what? You're walking away from a new beginning? what no no not at all there's that full moon and you walking through that cavern you're leaving what you invested in to walk towards your two of cups which is your true love you know that that's where your abundance lies your stability your security is waiting for you here so it doesn't matter what you sacrifice in the name of love it's worth it so this shows me you're not walking away at all. You're walking straight towards your true love. And it's divine timing involved and divine guidance. The fool is going to be clarified. There we go again, that leap of faith. You guys are getting up and moving towards a true love. Ace 
Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself, working on saving money, going through a spiritual and physical healing, planning the future. So let's have a look at what this decision was all about. The Empress, you're getting ready to birth something brand new here. Brand new. This is the next phase of your journey. Am I ready to step into the Empress's shoes? Am I ready to give birth, birth to something new? For some of you, you could be having a baby. Am I ready for the cornucopia of all cornucopias? The harvest. So the moon. Yeah, this is you burning off old energies. The past is the past. Whatever there might be of regrets or secrets or anything that was shady is about to be illuminated and burned off. Leo will have nothing to do with it. Leo, you're making some... They're not tough decisions, but I think they're the kind of decisions that means it's going to be a long road but you're in it for the long haul. You're willing to do the work because they're willing to do the work. This king of air feels stuck, afraid to show their emotions. So in their nervousness, maybe they want to talk about, you know, the weather, uh, what you could do to fix your car, you know, give you all kinds of advice how you can deal with uh, certain areas of your life and wanting to give you that independence to work on your own, but at the same time be there to give that advice. They feel stuck. They feel detached away from you, but not of their choice. They're just not sure. They're not sure how they're trying to communicate in the best way that they know how. But this is about being up in their head, thoughts, feeling stuck, but maybe Leo doesn't care. Maybe Leo won't go the long haul with me. You feeling stuck. There's jealousy involved and competition. You may feel that you have to compete for this person. Stand your ground, you, you rise above the rest. And if, if you're suffering from any thoughts of jealousy, Leo, there's nothing to be jealous of. This person is devoted to you. Look, they want to come rushing in. This is your path clearing. This is you hitting the ground running. As soon as that clarity comes in, that baggage is burned off. You're as light as a feather. And your path, the fog on the path lifts. You're charging down it. You know the direction you want to go in. You know what your destiny is. And you're going to you're going to go for it. Messenger of water. We've got Pisces again. Two Pisces cards back to back. Now, again, this does not mean that you're dealing with Pisces, but the energies are fantastic. They're psychic. They're spiritually connected to you. They love you. They think you are a treasure. And they're becoming enlightened to who you are, what your value is to them in their lives, and or vice versa. You're seeing the value in yourself. That spiritual connection that's enlightening you. I'm going to take this to the extended readings now. The extended readings are only $10, but it gives you access for a whole month to all of the extended readings for all the Zodiacs and the Afternoon Delights. The personal readings are back open again, and for members, there is a discount, of course. There is a Facebook page. We put out a message every single day with some pretty cool posts to inspire you. Join us over there. Lots of goodies. Make some popcorns. popcorn. Join us. Thank you, Leo. God bless you. Thank you for your support, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.